everyone. I'm going to teach y'all how to make this fun game for preschool and kindergarten students for your piano teaching. Let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you can either trace your students' little hands and do this project with them. However, it might be a little bit time consuming, so that's why I'm doing it ahead of time. I am just starting with a blank sheet of paper, just white. You can use any color you like, except I'm doing white, so the contrast and the colors and the finger numbers can really make a difference in their brains. So, we start with this white piece of paper, and you can just use a pen or a pencil, whatever you're comfortable with. I'll go ahead and just use a pencil for now. You're gonna get your left hand and just trace it with your right. And I know this might be difficult whether you're left-handed or right-handed, but if you're not comfortable with that, you can just trace out a hand. But I know sometimes it's a little bit tricky either way. So whatever you're comfortable with, I'm just gonna go ahead and trace my hand. So trace your left hand here. I'm going kind of fast, so um, it'll be a little messy, but it'll, it'll be okay. So, we got the left hand. It's kind of ugly. It'll work. Then we put our right hand right by it. Leave a little bit of space between the two uh, thumbs. Just trace that out. Okay. So, now we have our two hands. So what I am doing, which I think will be a fun activity, and then I'm going to figure out how to do, um, a let the student do it on their own. But what I have done is I get construction paper. Let me get some right here. So you can use any color you want, but what I'm doing is I am using certain colors for certain fingers. So for number ones, I am using the blue. So I cut a circle out of construction paper and I drew a number one on there. And if y'all have one, you can laminate it, but I am cheap and I don't have one. So I use good old clear transparent tape and I just tape over that circle until it's nice and laminated feeling and it, you know, prevents, I don't know, smearing of the ink or whatever. It just, no paper cuts, no nothing. So, and it's pretty kind of fun just to play with. So, after you make um, your little tokens, so they're not tokens, but your little circles, you have your ones and your twos. You're going to have two pairs of, not two pairs, two of each um, number so that they can match on your little chart here. So you'll have two purples for the five, four for the greens, three for the yellows, two for the reds, two ones. So that might take a little bit of time, but honestly, you can use um, colored foam if you wanna do that, have a different texture for more interaction for your little ones but I'm just gonna do construction paper because that's what I have. Um, so back to our chart. Now, to match this one here, what we're gonna do is for our left hand here, we have our five, four, three, two, one, right? So we're gonna color this one blue, or excuse me, excuse me here. I always get this messed up. We're gonna have our five, our four, our three, our two, and our one. And we're gonna color that purple, green, yellow, red, blue. So that's, that's how I'm doing it. And then once you complete that, again, you can go back with your tape. You can tape over it like I have. It's not perfect, but you know, little ones, they won't care, they won't notice. So. Anyways, I hope that uh, was helpful, a fun game to make for your little ones, for your students. I think it's going to be really cool. 
Um, you could do this during your lesson after. I would probably say do it with them so that you can, you know, make sure they do it right, <laughs> putting the colors together and make sure they're getting that number to key and left hand, right hand recognition. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.